Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will show the hardware of the S1 insulation resistance tester. Let's get started. This is the S1 unit by Megger. The S1 is a battery operated unit which can also be operated while connected to the line. When the unit is connected to the line, this green LED turns on. This rotary function selection switch allows the user to choose the type of test to be performed. Different insulation resistance tests are already programmed on the unit such as basic insulation resistance, timed insulation resistance, dielectric absorption ratio, polarization index, dielectric discharge, step voltage tests and RAM tests. Manual control is also allowed. This rotary switch allows the user to select the different predefined test voltages and to manually control the test voltages as well as changing settings on the unit and performing data transfer functions. The test button is used to start and stop tests. When a test is running, the red LED turns on and off intermittently. Navigation buttons are provided which can be used to locate uh, save tests, increase or decrease values as well as to navigate the different screens on the instrument. These buttons are also used to select special functions like burn mode, etc. The test leads are connected here. Connections are provided for positive, negative and guard terminals. Connection cables have a locking mechanism which keeps the cables in place while testing and allows for an easy release once the job is finished. This button is used to enable or disable the filtering algorithms provided with the unit used to obtain good measurement results in high noise environments. This button is used to save test results into the memory of the instrument and this one turns the unit's backlight on and off to allow for better visibility in different environments. A Bluetooth adapter is provided with the units to allow for wireless communication. And finally, a USB connection is provided which can be used for regular communications as well as to remotely control the unit. This concludes the discussion of the hardware of the S1 insulation resistance tester. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.